Hello everyone, today I'll be doing my part 2 version of my Cydia and Jailbroken apps. Uh, I think I'll get started right away just by showing you some apps that uh, you might not see visually. Seems like my part 1 was a lot of visual tweaks and stuff, so uh, I'll go into my Cydia and show you some of the new ones I downloaded that I think are worth uh, mentioning. The first one is called TCP Optimizer. It's right there. I'm not sure if it's clear for you guys. It's right there. What it does is, um, if you're on Wi-Fi 3G, it actually uh, speeds up your YouTube um, loading times. I'm not sure if you ever noticed if you're at the using Wi-Fi at your school or something, it, YouTube videos sometimes load pretty slow. Or if you're on 3G, and this um, it's meant just to improve Wi-Fi speeds and pretty much speed up your YouTube video downloads. Yeah, it's called TCP Optimizer, and the source, I'll try to leave it, some of the information in the link below, but if you're watching, it's cydia.pushfix.info. I'm not sure if you guys will see it if I zoom in. It's right there, right there, push info. So it's cydia.pushfix.info. So you just add that to your sources, and then... You go down to one of his apps, T right there, TCP Optimizer. So that's a really useful app. I have noticed my YouTube videos um, loading up a little faster. I downloaded an app called Psy Switch, and you can actually use your volume rocker to switch between apps. So here it is, Psy Switch. So I'll give you just a demonstration. So pretend you open up YouTube. I'm not sure why it's doing that. And then you open up, let's see, iMovie. So while I'm in iMovie and I click, let's see, when I'm in iMovie and I click the volume rocker right here. So, I'm, so then I can just go to my YouTube. Yeah, it's just a, uh, I don't know, it kind of takes a while to get used to, but um, it's pretty, let's see if it works. So I can go back to my movies. And you can adjust it how you want to click the volume. It's not, you can't really just click it, so it's just one click. It won't really work. So it's really nice. So you can just do this. Yeah, I just got it today, so it's kind of, I got to adjust the settings. If you want to do that, just go in settings, and then you have to have activator through Cydia, and you can just click anytime, you can do it anywhere, and you go down to volume, and you can click on activate Psy switch. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, so it's activate Psy switch. So I currently have it when I... So I currently have it set at when I push up down really fast, but you can do it as when you both pr both press simultaneously. Oh snap! Sorry, both press them simultaneously. So I guess when you click them like boom together. So yeah, just play with that. It's called Retina Pad. So it's right there, Retina Pad. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. So it's not really an app, so that's why I closed. Basically, you can just load up iPhone video apps. So things like, you can see, if you know, I can see my app list. Devil May Cry, the iPhone version of Facebook, Monopoly, Street Fighter 4, Sonic. So basically, these apps, they don't have an iPad version of it. So let's see, I can just show you uh open up street fighter for you guys okay let's see where street fighter is I'm not sure if it's it should be still here right here street fighter 4 Okay, 
So you want to continue where you last left off. I say no. So basically this is it. Normally this is not an iPhone app, but you can see it's with the retina pad it zooms up pretty well and it's really clear. And oh just to keep in mind you still can use your volume up and down, which is really nice even with the side switch. So I'm not gonna keep this short and you guys can just see the video and Okay, I'll just exit out. Infinity folders. That's uh, I'm not sure if I put this in the last uh, City of Review apps, but it just allows you to put a lot of files into one. So that's why you notice on my home page I only have one screen. Because I mean all my games are in one folder. And see it's normally you cannot put this many games in one folder. And I have programs all in one folder as well. Let's see another city app. It's called 3G Unrestrictor. So basically a lot of your apps are um, restricted only on Wi-Fi. So with this you can download it on uh, Cydia and it will just let you run a lot of the apps that you're only allowed to do on Wi-Fi. So let's see. So some of the apps that you're allowed only to do on Wi-Fi are YouTube, Perfect Downloader, it's pretty much just you download YouTube videos, iTunes, install this, your internet browser, I'm not sure why that's on there, and the App Store. So yeah, that's a really useful app. Another app, let's see how I can, this is a, it's called Apt Backup. Pretty much you back up all your city apps, so this is the last time I backed up mine, so I can just back it up right now. So it says you want to create a backup. I'm not sure why it's so dang blurry. And just push a backup and this backup's done. And just push OK. So yeah, I just made a backup today on the 23rd at 11.30. So yeah, that's really useful. So later on, when you want to restore or upgrade your, um, your software on your iTunes, you can just load that up and you do have to download all the apps again but at least you don't have to write down all the apps that you did download so let's see any other useful yeah that's pretty much it for now I mean I I don't want to add too much on my iPad just because I don't want it to lag and stuff but those apps uh, they've been working really well and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys have any other requests um, just leave it in the comments or send me a message and thanks for watching bye